Have you ever wondered if your dog is trying to communicate with you? Imagine for a moment how it would be if we could converse with our four-legged friends. While we may not be able to engage in deep philosophical discussions with our dogs, they do have their own unique ways of communicating with us. Dogs, much like humans, utilize a combination of vocalizations, facial expressions, and body language to convey their thoughts and feelings. Some of these signals are quite obvious, like a wagging tail indicating excitement or happiness. Others, however, require a keen eye and a bit of understanding about canine behavior. For instance, a dog's body language can be a complex system of signals. A raised paw might mean they're feeling playful, a tucked tail could indicate fear, and a lowered head might suggest submission or appeasement. But not all paw raises or tail tucks mean the same thing. They can vary greatly in meaning depending on the context and the individual dog's temperament and personality. Facial expressions, too, play a crucial role in canine communication. A relaxed, open mouth, for example, could mean your dog is content and at ease. On the other hand, a hard stare could be a sign of aggression or a warning to back off. And then there are the vocalizations, the barks, growls, whines, and howls. Each of these sounds carries its own message, from a bark of warning or excitement to a whine of distress or desire for attention. Understanding these signals not only allows us to better understand our dogs, but it also enhances our relationship with them. It's a way of breaking down the species barrier, of fostering a deeper connection based on mutual understanding and respect. After all, communication is the cornerstone of any healthy relationship, and the bond between a human and their dog is no different. So, let's dive into the fascinating world of canine communication. Our journey will take us from the tip of a wagging tail to the sound of a gentle whine, exploring the many ways our dogs talk to us every day. Did you know that dogs use their entire body to communicate? Indeed, our canine companions are a lot more expressive than we might initially think. They employ a variety of body parts, their tail, ears, eyes, and even their posture, to convey a wide range of emotions and intentions. Let's start with the tail. Contrary to popular belief, a wagging tail doesn't necessarily equate to a happy dog. Sure, a relaxed rhythmic wag usually indicates a cheerful pup, but a stiff high wag? That's a sign of alertness, potentially even aggression. And a tucked tail? That means your dog is scared or anxious. Next, let's talk about their ears. A dog's ears are like a mood barometer. Ears pricked forward suggest curiosity or excitement, while ears flattened against the head signal fear or submission. A relaxed dog's ears, on the other hand, will be in a neutral position, neither pricked nor flattened. And then there are the eyes. Did you know that dogs have a unique way of using their eyes to communicate? Direct, prolonged eye contact can be a sign of aggression, while a dog that looks away is often showing submission or discomfort. And those adorable puppy dog eyes. They're not just for melting our hearts, they're a sign of affection and trust. Finally, let's not forget about posture. A dog standing tall with its chest out and head held high is displaying confidence and dominance. A crouched low body position? That's a sign of fear or submission. So you see, understanding dog body language is a bit like learning a new language. It takes time and practice. But the more you understand it, the better you'll be able to read and respond to your dog's needs. So the next time you're with your furry friend, pay close attention to what their body is saying. You might just discover a whole new side to their personality. Reading these signs correctly can truly help you understand your furry friend's feelings. Just like us, dogs also use facial expressions to communicate. Welcome to the third part of our journey into canine communication, where we're exploring the fascinating world of dog facial expressions. When we think about human communication, we often consider words as the primary means. However, for our four-legged friends, facial expressions are a significant part of their language. Consider a relaxed dog. Their eyes are soft and gentle, their mouth is slightly open, and their tongue may even be hanging out a bit. This is your dog's way of saying, I'm comfortable, I'm content, and I'm feeling good. Contrast this with a tense expression. The dog's eyes may be wide and alert, their mouth closed and their body rigid. This could be a sign of fear, anxiety, or anticipation. It's your dog's way of telling you, I'm feeling unsure, I'm nervous, or I'm ready for action. Now think about a scared dog. Their eyes might be darting around, their ears flat against their head, and their body might be hunched or shaking. This is your dog's way of saying, I'm scared, I'm uncomfortable, and I need reassurance. In dogs, the eyes and mouth play a significant role in their emotional display. A dog's eyes can tell you a lot about their current state of mind. Soft, relaxed eyes usually indicate a comfortable and happy dog, 
while hard, tense eyes might suggest a dog that's worried or anxious. Similarly, a dog's mouth can also provide insight into their emotions. A relaxed, open mouth often suggests a happy and content dog, while a tightly closed mouth can indicate stress, fear, or discomfort. It's important to remember that these are general guidelines and every dog is unique. Some dogs might display certain behaviors or expressions more than others. The key is to get to know your individual dog's habits and behaviors. By paying close attention to your dog's face, you can get a good idea of what's going on in their mind. And by understanding these expressions, you're one step closer to creating a deeper bond with your furry friend. Ever wondered about the meaning behind your dog's barks, whines, or growls? Well, you're not alone. Just like us, dogs have their own language and it's not limited to tail wagging or ear movements. Their vocalizations, in fact, hold a wealth of information. Let's start with barking, arguably the most common sound a dog makes. But did you know? Not all barks are the same. A high-pitched bark usually signals excitement or happiness, while a lower-pitched bark might indicate a threat or a concern. If the barking is incessant and high-pitched, your furry friend might be anxious or seeking attention. Growling, on the other hand, can be a little more complex. Although it often signals aggression, that's not the only message behind a growl. A playful growl during a game of tug-of-war is different from a growl when a stranger approaches. The key here is to pay attention to the context as well as the sound itself. Whining is another common sound in the doggy dictionary. A whine usually signifies that your dog wants something, be it attention, food, or a bathroom break. Sometimes it could also indicate discomfort or pain, so it's always important to pay heed when your dog whines. And let's not forget howling, an age-old canine tradition. Howling can serve multiple purposes, from expressing loneliness to communicating with other dogs. And sometimes, our pet pals howl simply because they enjoy it. Remember, the volume, pitch, and duration of these sounds can provide crucial clues about a dog's emotional state and intentions. A short, sharp bark might be an alert, while prolonged barking could be a sign of boredom or anxiety. And a low, long growl might be a serious warning. In essence, understanding your dog's vocalizations is like learning a new language. It requires patience, observation, and a bit of intuition. But once you start to decode these sounds, you'll find a new way to connect with your canine companion. So the next time your dog barks, you might have a better idea of what they're trying to say. Now that we've explored the various ways dogs communicate, let's summarize the key points. From the wagging tail to their expressive eyes, a dog's body language is a rich tapestry of emotions and intentions. Understanding this language is crucial for us to fully connect with our canine companions. It's not just about recognizing a wagging tail or a playful bow, but also about interpreting the subtleties of their posture, their gaze, and even the position of their ears. Next, let's not forget about their facial expressions. Dogs have an impressive range of facial expressions that can give us clear cues about their emotional state. A relaxed and open mouth, for instance, usually indicates a content and happy dog, while a wrinkled brow may suggest worry or confusion. Moreover, dogs use their vocalizations to communicate with us. From barks to whines, from growls to howls, each sound carries a specific message. Barking can be a call for attention or a warning, while whining often signals distress or desire. Growling, contrary to popular belief, doesn't always mean aggression. It can also be a sign of fear or discomfort. Our dogs are talking to us all the time, but it's up to us to learn their language. By understanding these key aspects of canine communication, we can improve our relationship with our dogs, making them feel more secure, understood, and loved. It's also important to remember that each dog is unique, with its own set of behaviors and quirks. So, what might be true for one dog might not be for another. It's about getting to know your dog, observing them, and learning their specific ways of expressing themselves. In conclusion, understanding canine communication is not just about interpreting individual signals, but about seeing them in context and combining them to get a complete picture of what our dogs are trying to tell us. Remember, understanding your dog's language is the key to a happy and healthy relationship with your furry friend.